Jesus asked them, whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. As soon as he said unto them, I am he, they went back and fell on the ground. Jesus was bold like a lion. And Jesus is the gold standard of Christianity. And if you claim to be a child of God, you have to be bold like a lion. And you know what they say about lions. Lions don't lose sleep over the opinions of sheep. For you to become everything God has intended for you to become, to reach the heights God has planned for you, it demands boldness. It demands boldness to be a child of God. It demands boldness to walk by faith and not by sight, to go where you've never walked before. It demands boldness to reach for what you've never reached for before. It demands boldness to win. It demands boldness to break chains. It demands boldness to fight when you're tired. It demands boldness to be above average. It demands boldness to be more than a conqueror. Boldness, boldness, boldness. I don't think you understand me. The door is open to those bold enough to knock. It says in the word of God, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Catching Puzzle Pieces. Gaining new understanding. Catching, by catching I mean understanding, right? Uh, golden nuggets, bits of wisdom. <clears throat> information that we do not understand. Uh, this is what I mean. But here I found this post and I had to share it. I have to share it. The only way that I know to share this stuff is through this channel. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and read it for us. This resonated with me. This is why I'm posting it. And this is it's in alignment with who I am, with what I believe in, with, with my values with with my path yeah with where i'm at in my life right now so if this resonates with you this is for you if it doesn't this could be you in the future right uh 15 years ago i was not in christ i hated christians i loathed christians as a catholic i used to be like oh they think they're all so perfect and this and that Stupid thoughts, foolish thoughts, those were thoughts. I thought those thoughts were me. That was Satan. That was, uh, those thoughts came out of ignorance. Ignorance. I had no idea. <laughs> but let's, let's continue with this powerful word. So this was, this is from the Anointed Journey Ministries. Word by Deborah Waldron Fry, March 14th, 2024. Beloved, I had you hidden away for a season and a reason. I have been teaching you to hear my voice and to reject any other. This is a time like no other. It was so important for my end time army to be totally mine and you are so this is from father god i have been with you through it all dear one the enemy has tried many tactics against you yes he has yes he has he thought you would fold <laughs> never say 10 i will never fold Unless it is Father God's plan and purposes for my life. But I do not believe. And I don't. I have faith that that is not for me. He thought you would fold. He thought you would defect to the other side. To start working for Satan? Nah. Never. He thought you would give up. But I tell you the truth, my child. 
His attacks have only served to make you stronger. Yes. They have turned you into a golden warrior. You are holy to me, set apart. The brightness of my glory in your armor of light is blinding the evil ones. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. For I have taken what the devil meant for your destruction and turned it around for your good. He has seen warriors in the past, a few here, a few there. But this is different. This army you are a part of is glorious to behold. You have become one in me, one in Christ, one voice, one purpose, one leader. The Lord of hosts is my name, the great I am. The Lord mighty in battle. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand. But it will not come near you, Miguel Alejandro de Anda. Or whoever else is out there, brothers and sisters in Christ. No power in hell can come, can overcome you when you walk by faith. The weapons of your warfare are mighty through your God. My royal army is now ready to be revealed in all your glory. I am so pleased with you, dear child of mine. I call you forth now to do mighty ex exploits in my name. You are my fearless ones who Walk in pure and undefiled love. In you and you in me. I in you and you in me. Nothing shall be impossible to you. Rejoice, beloved. Your God arises and his enemies are scattered. The Lord is with you. Mighty warrior. Psalm 91 verse 5. You shall not be afraid for the terror by night. Nor for the arrow that flies by day. Nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness. Nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. John 10, 4. When he has brought out all who are his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. Romans eight twenty eight, And we know that all things work together for good, to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Psalm 68, 1. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire. So let the wicked ones perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yeah, yes, let them exceedingly rejoice. Here's our Lord Jesus. Again, by Deborah Waldron Fry. My sister in Christ. Thank you, sister in Christ. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for this word. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. 
I truly pray and hope that I am abiding in you and that you are abiding in me, Father God. Thank you for correction. Thank you for rebuking me. Thank you, Father God. Whatever is not of you, Father God, let it be known that I am doing, Father God. Whatever is of you, whatever it truly is, you through me, Father God. Reveal it, show it, let it be known, Father God, in Jesus' name. Not for me, Father God, for your glory, Father God, for your people that need you, Father God. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father God, thank you, Father God, thank you, Abba, thank you, Father God, thank you, Father God, the Lord of hosts. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. All right, you also, real quick. Um, so this is cool because I never, back when I was, I had already accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. So this was around 20, Twenty seventeen to twenty eighteen, around there was whenever I bought that course when I was studying content from Dr. Michael Bernard Beckwith, right? And uh, at that time, that's what I was doing. I was studying his his content. I was studying a lot of different individuals' content, different past, different pastors, so different spiritual leaders, right? Yeah. Uh, the point, what I'm trying to communicate to you right now is that I never, never, never did I hear any of them say anything about being a warrior, about a warrior, right? Like I never saw that. I never saw that with my eyes anywhere. Uh, the content that I was studying at that time, never did I see warrior, uh, something within me, inside my mind, in my voice, an inner voice told me, it just said warrior, spiritual warrior, spiritual warrior. And I was like, all right, I'm a spiritual warrior. Okay, so I am a spiritual warrior of the light, a spiritual warrior of the light, spiritual warrior in Christ Jesus. At that time, it was of the light, right? I was still clinging to my Lord Jesus, like the lady with the issue of the blood. I'm reaching. I'm never going to stop reaching for my Lord Jesus' garment. Never, ever. Uh, but yeah, at that time, that never, I never, I didn't have like, and I didn't see it anywhere. So it wasn't like a seed that was planted in me, right? This was something that was already in me without me even knowing about it. Like, how can I communicate this to you all? It wasn't like, oh, uh, like I saw this pen. Oh, that's a cool pen. That's me, right? Like, no, it wasn't like that. Uh, it was just something that was actually in me. And that's why when I ran into this post, uh, it was like, man, this this is Father God, and this is truly for me, and for whoever else out there, you know. Uh, yeah, so this is crazy, crazy serendipity. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you all, being transparent here. I have nothing to prove. I have nothing to, you know, this is for Father God's glory. But... Yeah, that was it. So a lot of things like this, it's like you within you, you already have this within you, you know. But we question it because the world is going a whole different way than what the word of God tells us to do, right? Um, but yeah. But thank you all. Thank you for your time. Keep going. Keep going. Don't give up. Keep leveling up. Keep leveling up. Uh... Father God will give you your instructions. Uh, sometimes he'll speak to you through strangers. He may speak to you through a a movie of the world. I know y'all don't, you may not believe this uh, through a, a a song. It could be any anything, any way in your in your world, right? Through the journey of your day, Father God can speak to you. 
especially if you're communicating with him, talking to him, and it's like, Lord, I need you, I need you, I need you, right? You invite him into every situation, circumstance that you go through through your day. Uh, Father God knows our intentions. He knows our intentions. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your time. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Warriors in Christ Jesus. Keep going, warriors in Christ Jesus. Keep going. All that hate that you're getting from the individuals around you, remember, we battle not against flesh and blood. We battle against the principalities. Uh, how does it go? Principalities, the dark forces of this world. That is who we are battling with. It's a spiritual warfare. This is exactly what they do not teach us at school, in school. At least not the school that I went to. How you want to go and how you want to get there. You got to control it. If not, it's over. A good human being, a fulfilled human being, doesn't need to break anyone down. All they do is want to build you up. So anybody you meet that calls you out of your name, that bullies you, that messes you up, that, that makes you feel not lifted they are dealing with something deep rooted when you quit your mind says we're done one mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you you still must grind i'll never be in the olympics i'll never be a professional athlete but still i grind i fail at most things i do but still i grind i don't want to do half the shit i do but still i grind and that one day you see me down a dark alley Run at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. Stay hard. Being accepted is one thing that killed me. And you have to learn what do you want in your life?